Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Shahad Association. Our lesson today is about Algebraic Expressions Part 1. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to click the bell to stay notified. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate between monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial terms, and you will learn how to perform simple operations on algebraic expressions by using the like and unlike terms concept, and you will learn how to apply the three well-known remarkable identities and the distribution property in order to expand and reduce algebraic expressions, and finally, you will learn how to calculate the numerical value of an expression for a given value. Let's get started. First, let's define algebraic expression. A number or a combination of numbers connected by the symbols of operation is called an algebraic expression. And we have seen one example about this combination in the Engage and Explore section when we were calculating the area uh, or the shaded area in a green color. Here we have more examples, like 2x. Here we have one uh, operation, which is multiplication. So we don't have combination here. Minus 4x, 3y plus 2x. Here we have two operations, addition and multiplication. 5x plus 3y minus 2z. We have three operations, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And finally, we have x squared plus 4. So, the numbers are in a green color, like 2 minus 4, 3, and so on, are called coefficients or constants, because they are fixed. They don't change. The value remains constant. It's 2. It's only 2. It can't be, or we can't write it, uh, we can't write 2 as 1. While the letters x, y, and z are called variable because they can take variable values. X can be two, one, minus one, we don't know. The several parts are called terms. So two is the coefficient or is the constant. X is the variable. Two X, we call it term. The exponent two of the variable called degree. So X squared, we call it term. 3y, we call it term. Now we will define the like and unlike terms. Like terms are the terms which they have exactly the same variable with its degree, like 2x plus 19x. Both they have exactly the same variable, which is x to the power 1. And we can add these two terms together, 2x plus 19x, equal 21x. 2x plus 19a, they don't have the same variable. 2, it has x. 19, it has a. So we can't add or subtract these two terms together. For w minus 10w, we can write it directly as minus 6w. For w minus 10w square, we can't consider them as like terms because uh, the first uh, coefficient or the first lateral coefficient for 4 it's w to the power 1 while the coefficient or the lateral coefficient for number 10 w to the power 2 so the exponents are different 12r 12r sorry minus 12s of, uh, and of course these uh, two terms considered as unlike terms because the variables are different 32a squared plus 9a cubed, the exponents here are different. 8y plus 5y, uh, 32a squared plus 9a squared, 14.r minus 12r, they are all like terms or examples of uh, like terms. Now we will get into one application of like and unlike or of distinguishing between like and unlike terms which is collecting an algebraic expression. We can only add or subtract the coefficients, the coefficients of the like term. So if we have, for example, 2x plus 4y plus x plus 5 plus 2y, we can add or subtract only the coefficients. 
and we mean by the coefficients the constants like 2, 4, 1, and 5 uh, of the like terms. So we can add 2x with x, 4y with 2y, and uh, we keep 5 as it is because we don't have uh, other constant to add uh, to 5 or to subtract from 5. Okay, so we got 3x plus 6y plus 5. Second example, 3y minus 2x minus y minus 5x plus 4y. Again, we have uh, here uh, only two variables, x and y. x, uh, with respect to x, we have uh, two coefficients, minus 2 and minus 5. With respect to y, we have 3, uh, minus 1, and 4. The final answer will be equal to minus 7x plus 6y. Example C, minus 8, minus 6y plus z, minus 5x plus 4y plus 6x plus 3y plus 9. We have uh, here three variables, x, y, and z. So first, we start by x. We write x, and we add or we multiply uh, the summation of the coefficients of uh, the constants with x. So we have minus 5x, so we write minus 5, and 6x, so we, we write plus 6. With respect to y, we have minus 6y, so we write minus 6, plus 4y, so we write plus 4, and plus 3y, we write only plus 3. We multiply the result of these three numbers with y, and we have only one z, so we keep z as it is. Uh, we have minus 8 plus 9, minus 8 plus 9 equal 1. And we will get x plus y plus z plus 1 as a final answer. Now we will learn how to differentiate between monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial. So it's simply to say that monomial, which include only one term, like minus x power 5, like x square, like minus 2, minus 1, 3, 3x three square. 6x squared. They are all examples about monomials. Binomial, two terms like x squared plus 5. Trinomial, uh, when we have three terms like 3x minus 8 plus 4x power 5. Four term or polynomial. So uh, three terms and more, we call it polynomial. So uh, four terms like minus 7a squared plus 9b minus 4b cubed plus 6. Now let's introduce the distribution law, which is very important and easy law. Before we start, uh, let's revise this remark at the bottom of the page to the right, uh, which is said when we multiply two similar signs, we get positive sign. When we multiply two different signs, we get negative sign. So a into b plus or minus c equal to ab plus or minus ac. So we should multiply a with the whole variables inside the brackets. For example, if we have a 3 into x plus y, we should multiply 3 by x and by y. Otherwise, we will get wrong answer, like 3x plus y or uh, x plus 3y. No, it should be equal to 3x plus 3y. So we multiply 3 by x and by y. a plus or minus b, now we have a binomial multiplied by binomial. So a plus or minus b multiplied by c plus or minus d we get uh, or we should first multiply the first by first which is uh, a times c and that's equal to ac the first by second which is equal plus or minus ad, AD. Uh, the second by first plus or minus bc the second by second b times d which is equal plus or minus bd for example if we have 2x minus 1 into x plus 3 so we should multiply the first by first. So 2x times x equal 2x squared. 2x times 3 equal 6x. Minus 1 times x equal minus x. Minus 1 times plus 3 equal minus 3. We have two different signs. Minus times plus. It will give us negative sign. So minus 1 times 3 equal minus 3. Now we collect the like terms with each other. So we have only 2x squared uh, plus we have 6x minus x, they both have the same variable, uh, which is x. So 6x minus x equals 5x minus 3. So now we will introduce the power rule. 
a power n times a power n equal to a power n plus n. So when we have uh, two different exponents uh, or uh, two exponential numbers with different exponents and they have the same base, uh, we only need to add their exponents. For example, if we have x squared times x power 5, both they have the same base, which is x. So we only need to add their exponents. So we write x power 2 plus 5, which is equal x power 7. 2x cubed times 4x power 7. So we multiply the numerical coefficients with each other, 2 times 4, to give us 8. And x power 3 times x power 7, which is equal x power 3 plus 7. And that's equal to x power 10. Remarkable identities. So we have three well-known remarkable identities. The first one, square of sum. a plus b squared equal to a plus b into a plus b. So a squared, if we want to apply the distribution law, we will get a squared plus a b plus b a plus b squared. And that's equal to a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared. So you can apply uh, the final result directly when you see an expression in a form of a plus v square. Let's solve an example. A, uh, x plus 3 square, so we can write directly x square plus 2 times 3 times x plus 3 square, which is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9. x plus 2 square. So we write the first letter square or the first uh, term square, x square, plus the power times the numbers inside the bracket. So 2 times x times 2 plus the second term square. So x square plus 4x plus 4. Example C, 2x plus 1 square. So the first term square, 2x square. And uh, we multiply the power 2 times the numbers inside the brackets. So 2 times 2 times 1. And the final term square, which is 1 square. So we write 4x square, 2x square equal 4x square, plus 2 times 2 equal to 4, times 1 equal to 4. So it remains 4. But here we have a coefficient or a variable x. So we write 4x plus 1. Final example, 3x plus 2 squared, so 3x squared equal to 9x squared. Then we multiply the power with the numbers inside the brackets. So 2 times 3x equal 6x times 2 equal 12x. And the final term squared, which is 2. So 2 square of a difference, which is almost uh, the same as previous. But uh, we have a minus b, not a plus b. So a minus b squared is equal to a minus b into a minus b, which is equal to a squared minus a b minus b a plus b squared. So we can collect minus a b with minus b a. And the final answer is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. And we can write it directly or we can apply it directly if we see an expression like uh, a minus b square. For example, if we have x minus 3 square, we can write x square, the first term square, minus, now we have minus here, so minus the power times the numbers inside the brackets, so minus 2 times 3 times x plus plus. You should keep in your mind that this minus here, you already include it here. So minus, you don't take it into consideration uh, once again when you write the square of the second number. So plus 3 squared. That's equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. x minus 4 squared, again x squared minus 2 times 4 times x plus 4 squared, which is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. 1 minus x square, my, uh, sorry, 1 minus x quantity square. So 1 square minus 2 times the numbers inside the bracket. So minus 2 
times 1 times x which is equal to minus 2x plus uh, the second uh, term square which is x square 3x minus 2 quantity square it's equal to 3x square 3x square equal to 9x square minus 2 times the numbers inside the brackets so minus 2 times 3 minus uh, sorry 2 times 3 6x 2 times 3x equal to 6x times 2 equal 12x and we have minus here so we get minus 12x plus the second term now let's explain the third remarkable identity which is a product of the sum of two numbers by their difference so if we have a minus b into a plus b by following the distribution law we will get a square plus a b minus b a minus b square and since a b a minus b a they are two opposite numbers so they eliminate each other and the remaining parts uh, will be a square minus b square so if we have a uh, two binomial expressions multiplied by each other in this form like a minus b into a plus b we can apply the result of this remarkable identity directly so for example if we have x minus 1 into x plus 1 they are in the form of a minus b into a plus b you can skip the distribution law and we can write directly x square minus 1 square which is equal to x square minus 1 Again, if we have x minus 4 into x plus 4, we can skip the distribution law and we can write directly as x square minus 4 square, which is equal 16. 2x minus 3 into 2x plus 3, again 2x square minus 3 square, which is equal to 4x square minus 9. And the final example, 3x minus 1 into 3x plus 1. It's equal to 3x squared minus 1 squared, which is equal to 9x squared minus 1. Now let's summarize the first part of this lesson by solving this application. Given p of x equal to 2x plus 1 quantity squared minus 2x squared minus 9x minus 4. Uh, let's start by part A. We want to expand and reduce p of x. So in order to expand p of x, we should first uh, apply the first remarkable identity, which is square of a sum on 2x plus 1 quantity square. So, uh, and of course, we keep uh, the rest terms as they are. We have nothing to do with them. So, uh, 2x plus 1 square, if you want to apply the first remarkable identity, we should square the first term, 2x square plus 2, uh, the power 2 times the numbers inside the brackets which are 2x and 1 or the terms inside the brackets 2x and 1 so 2 times 2x times 1 plus 1 square and again we keep uh, the rest numbers or the rest terms as they are so 2x squared equal to 4x squared 2 times 2x times 1 equal to 4x 1 square still 1 so minus 2x squared minus 9x minus 4 now we should collect the like terms with each other so 4x squared minus 2x squared equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 9x equal to minus 5x plus 1 minus 4 equal minus 3. So the final result after reducing p of x is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Part b, we want to calculate p of 0. So whenever, or we should substitute x by 0. So whenever we see x, we put 0. So 2 into 0 plus 1 square minus 2 into 0 square minus 9x becomes minus 9 into 0 minus 4. So uh, the only remaining uh, terms are 1 and minus 4. So 1 or 1 square, uh, still 1. So plus 1 minus 4 equal minus 3. Now p of 2, let's calculate p of 2. Uh, again, we need to substitute x by 2. So whenever we see x, we put or we write 2. So 2 into 2 plus 1 quantity square minus 2 into 2 square, because here we have minus 2x square. So we should substitute x by 2. So minus 2 into 2 square minus 9x becomes minus 9 into 2 minus 4. So 2 into 2 equal 4. 4 plus 1 equal 5. So 5 square equal 
25 and here 2 square equal uh, 4 4 times 2 equal 8 so 25 minus 8 becomes 17 now we have uh, minus 9 into 2 so minus 9 into 2 equal minus 18 so 17 minus 18 equal to minus 1 minus 4 the final answer is equal to minus 5 thank you guys for watching please try to contact with me if you have any question about this lesson Stay if you liked this lesson make sure to subscribe to our channel for more and don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates